Please welcome Miss Petra Marin. Petra, how are you? Hi. Hi. Well, hello there. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, hear you just fine. <laughs> here are you. <laughs> uh, how I, red am I? How Does red? Lighting <laughs> make no. me look like a no. cherry tomato? No, I, I've seen worse in Zoom, so it, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. It must be the wine that I'm enjoying with Evelyn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> so t tell, us, tell us a little bit about uh, Union Jack's Tea. Tell you about Union Jack's Tea. Yeah. Um, sell it. Sell it. You got. Sell it. Oh, my gosh. I, I need to read off of the paper. <laughs> um, Union Jack's Tea. Um, well, we're a woman owned business, a woman minority owned business um, based out of L.A. County. Um, we're located in Glendale, La Crescenta area. Um, we are, me, I've sourced teas from all over the world, uh, top quality, um, from all over. And, um, let's see, uh, we pride ourselves in excellent customer service and educating our customer. And we are also known for giving a unique experience for tea. You know, the Victorian tea afternoon tea trend is not popular anymore um so we have a new twist it's like a little bit of a niche market we um are all british branding you know i'm an anglophile um and uh when you come into my store you'll probably hear some british rock band so but you know we're tea purveyors and um we specialize in loose leaf tea we don't serve tea yet eventually we're going to have a, a tea cafe once this uh virus is over we were looking for a spot but that's awesome. um <laughs> that's us so i mean how did you get started in tea of all things i know crazy you're not going to believe this um so you and i went to college together right um when we met i had just ended um six days before my wedding day i was the runaway bride what? um i was living in new york um I was living in New York and um, my fiance at the time was in medical school and um, I just couldn't see myself being married and uh, being a New Yorker and a doctor's wife and um, he wanted to have kids and like right away and I was like 26, 27 years old. I'm like, what? So I ended up calling the wedding off and went to Cal State LA and that's where I met you in a production class. and. Um, yeah, you sat, I wanted to be you sat in front of me. Yeah. I thought you were going to be the one that sat behind me to cheat off of my... Just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So you assumed. No, I assumed. I know. I, maybe me. you would have cheated off of me. Nah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we met in college, and um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, you know, I took the LSATs to become a lawyer, an immigration lawyer like my dad, and that wasn't my calling. And so um, when we graduated, um, I ended up meeting somebody and worked for a Warner Brothers show. Um, I did the Sharon Osbourne show. We did that for a while. And then during hiatus, another show was coming up. So we had a couple of months. This is this is a crazy story. So a friend of mine was working at Whole Foods Market. And this is when like the organic trend was going on and yoga and Zen. She's like, work here instead of getting unemployment, because that's what you do when you know, you're in between shows. So I decided to apply. I got a job as assistant manager in the coffee bakery department at Whole Foods Market. That's how it started. And um, obviously the pay was better than TV. The benefits were amazing. They gave you stock options up front. So I'm like, I think I might stay for a little bit. And I didn't go back to TV for three years, but I owe my experience with the tea industry to Whole Foods Market because they're the ones that taught me how to run a business and be a business owner. And they oh, wow. sent me to the World Tea Expo, and that's where I got contacts. And it's a very small industry. The tea industry is really small. And um, and I just knew that one day I was going to be a tea business owner. You know, it's part of my culture, my heritage, and the Hispanic community. We drink tea for medicinal purposes, um, and I just love it. And I'm like a tea nerd. Um, but I just knew that we needed something different. And so that was about... I don't know. When did we graduate? 2003? Well, yeah, 2001 for me. You got, I think you were Oops. like the year after. 
you're right, 2002. Yeah. <laughs> so I just thought about the idea and put it in the back burner. And, um, and in 2007, I was already married and had a daughter and I visited the idea of um, opening up a tea business. And uh, of course you don't. Um, I don't know how Evelyn does it with three kids, but I had one and um, five years later when Matea was five, I'm like, and I went back to TV and worked on TV shows and dealt with all the television bullshit and um, nepotism. And, you know, I'm older and um, my last gig was three years ago and I felt like I was being pushed out. Um, I was a production associate manager and my production manager was a punk. And um, after that show ended, that's it. I sat in my room. Um, I said, I'm going to create a brand, a tea brand. And I had saved um, Union Jack's tea. I purchased the uh, U URL. Is that what it is? Yeah. The URL? I don't know. And um, I purchased it like eight or ten years ago. And um, I just created this brand in my bedroom in four months. And, um, okay, great. So I have a brand, right? What do I do with it? Someone said, so what are you going to do with it? Open up a store? I'm like, oh, shit. So I decided, um, why not try farmer's markets? And um, it turned out to be the best thing ever because one farmer's market in Montrose in my town led to the farmer's market in Pacific Palisades. And then from there led to Calabasas. And then I saw that there was a demand and my product is unique and there's nothing like it in LA because I'm a research guru and there's nobody like my brand. And then um, just last March, I'm driving down the street three minutes from my house and there's a shop for lease. And I thought, okay. <laughs> and that's when I contacted you and I said, oh my God, I'm going to take the plunge and lease a shop. Um, you know, it, because of reasons with the owner and stuff, it can't be converted into a cafe, mm -hmm. but which is good too, because this is baby steps. You know, the rent was reasonable, wasn't going to break the bank. Um, I had about a year of savings to, you know, help me. And um, and we just celebrated our one year in March, and it's the best decision I've ever made. Um, a lot of people recognize my branding from my town. The best thing is to start a business where people know you. Um, and then I hired you as my production manager. And you gave me and who six me weeks to put up. together a retail store. That, yeah. was, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. That was that was actually fun. fun. I mean, it's definitely. A little stress here and there, but it was it's a good stretch, and you you were great. Everything you followed it to a T. Get it? Let's see. Follow it. To, never mind. To a T. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I owe a lot of it to you and and to helping me like make things happen and happen and source my product and the look and the feel of the store. And I think when people come into my shop, that's the first thing I say is, "Oh my god, I didn't expect it to look like this," or "Oh my god." this is the coolest place, you know? Um, so I'm blessed. And with this COVID-19, um, I've never been a business for online. I've had my website mm -hmm. since the farmer's market days and wasn't popular. And now my online business is keeping me afloat. Um, my customers, my loyal customers are ordering online. It's I'm busier than ever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit it. Um, because so many people are suffering right now. Um, but um, my business is thriving and I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. That's I'm really awesome. lucky. So yeah. I mean, and I get to work from home. I, you, you already answered my next question is how do you, how did you transition <laughs> from an, a retail store, you know, when this thing hit, right? Because there's nobody walking through your door. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And we were scared. Um, I couldn't believe it. I said, this is the worst timing ever. How could this be happening right now? Mm -hmm. um, I had just, uh, we couldn't celebrate my one year anniversary. We we're going to have a party. But because by then they said um, that it, we had to do a safer at home. Uh, and um, I really thought that, oh shit, I'm going to struggle. I'm going to be those businesses that's going to struggle, you know? Um, but I decided to go on uh, a community Facebook page for my city of La Crescenta, and there's 10,000. There's 10,000 members. You're on it, too. And um, my bestie and my roommate, Sarah, and I decided to do fun videos of us. And I said, hey, this is the face of Union Jack's Tea. And um, that's been a blessing. I hate being camera. 
working and people are knowing my brand and my product and get to see me and the passion I have. And um, my product's the best of the best and it's reasonable. And um, you're supporting a woman owned business and within the community and people love my shop. And, um, and that's been keeping us alive, but the transition has been tough, you know, juggling my, my 13 year old who just, I have a, a newly turned 13 year old. She turned 13 on Monday. So trying to juggle, giving her time and attention and the school and orders. Um, it's been tough, but we're managing, you know, thank God I don't have three. <laughs> so, so what's something you, you wish you knew before starting this business? Something I wish I knew. Um, I wish I knew. I think I wish I had more skills, uh, marketing skills, um, learning how to navigate through the platforms through, you know, Instagram and Facebook. And, you know, um, I wish I had those skills. I wish I, I had some friends, millennials that would school me and guide me, you know, to have more um, exposure. Because I think once people see what my brand is about and see the quality and see how cool my stuff is, I think there's no doubt why wouldn't they want to buy it. But I don't have a lot of exposure. You know, yeah. I wish I learned that. Well, more silly videos so. would help. Jeff, definitely just keep those up. <laughs> more, <laughs> more, <laughs> silly, more silly videos. They're coming. Hey, I, I'm I'm enjoying them. I'm like, that's not the picture I know. That's not the <laughs> dancing thing. It's just so serious all the time. But that it, I am. But you know what? You you gotta do what you do to sell, right? Just like you know, we'd be <laughs> I'd be juggling uh, barbecue sauce if if I had the time. So yeah. by the way, get some barbecue sauce. It's good yeah. stuff. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, thank you, yeah. thank you so much, thank Petra. I mean, thank you for swinging by. Sorry about all the technical issues that we've had, but yeah. And my friends were gonna watch live and support your you know your podcast. It, uh, what a bummer. Don't worry. They'll, they'll get the video tomorrow morning. And they'll be fine. Okay. And we'll share it. Make it go viral. See Evelyn still drinking. No? You're done? Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Evelyn. I'm you wine. Here, Sarah. Fine. Wait. Let, let me bring Evelyn Wait. back in. Cheers. She, she's munching back there. Hi, Evelyn. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers all the way to Boston. <laughs> Cheers, uh, thank you guys so much for for, for joining and and uh, we'll, we'll, all right. Yeah, so tell tell people um pe t tell people where to go now if they want to buy tea and they're stuck at home yeah. and they need tea. Oh yes, yes, yes. Please, people, friends, um, support women-owned business. Um, your local um, here we're in La Crescenta, Glendale. Um, it's jackstea.com. That's it jack's tea just like my shirt says um jack's tea.com get the best tea we have free shipping right now um and that's it try our tea <laughs> that's awesome all right all right thank you, you know, well, let you go. all right all right have I a great you. night thank you nice to meet you bye evelyn all right <laughs> Yeah, yeah.